Our sixth learning objective looks at what are additional considerations in capital budgeting. Should I move forward with a project? Should I wait or should I drop the project? Some managerial options. What options do we have when it comes to taking on a project? For, for example, that um, Cottonelle Fresh Roll Wipes that we always keep talking about. Should we take it or should we not take it? It shows a positive MPV. Uh, are we unsure? Can we wait or must we always take a project or reject a project? For example, Euro Disney, when it first opened, um, there was lots of concern on the parts of Disney executives. Would it sell in Paris? Uh, would it fly as fast as our Disney properties in the United States? Um, so is it a static project or is it a dynamic project? Static project is one whose features cannot be changed um, and does not take into account managerial options. So we do, we find if we look into it, we do have options. We can expand so we can take on the project. Uh, and repeat it to get a larger MPV. We can abandon the project, certainly, which should have been done in the case of Cottonelle Fresh Roll Wipes. Despite all the monies spent, uh, we should have looked a little bit uh, more deeply into it and asked a lot more questions to see if it really, really would sell. And we can wait. The other option is we can wait on this for a while. We don't have to uh, necessarily take it right away. Uh, there are other strategic options. Um, sometimes difficult to measure their value. Capital rationing is a case where uh, we get a certain amount of money, uh, soft rationing and hard rationing, but it's not enough to uh, generate a successful MPV project. Uh, hard rationing is uh, where we just get a very, very small amount uh, each year. Soft rationing situation when units are allocated a certain amount each year, and you're gonna get your $2 million each year. Uh, whether you need it or not. And uh, one thing you can do if you're in great need of capital, you can try to get a larger allocation, try to generate the largest MPV within the existing budget. Those are two of your options. Hard rationing is a case where you cannot raise financing under any circumstances. A uh, company will not take on any projects. You're in financial distress if you're in a hard rationing case. And um, so be careful in these cases. If you don't get enough capital, again, you may have to step up and, and ask for more. And it may just not be there. It's very, very uh, tough in some economic times, and the uh, CEO will give you as much as possible. In summary, we've uh, in this session, session 11, we've looked at six different uh, methods, again, for evaluating large uh, projects, large capital uh, investment projects. First of all, how do we evaluate MPV estimates and make sure they are positive MPVs? As in the case of the Cottonelle Fresh Roll Wipes, we found that MPV estimate to be uh, somewhat of a disaster. Uh, scenario analysis, sensitivity analysis, simulation analysis were covered, and you should be able to do all three of those what-if analyses. Uh, how do we do break-even analysis? Uh, we gave three types of break-even, cash break-even, accounting break-even, financial break-even. Uh, and the fourth... Um, learning objective, we looked at what is the relationship between OCF and these break-even points. Uh, we took a quick look at degree of operating leverage in uh, objective number five. And finally, what are some additional considerations? Should I move forward with this project? Should I uh, halt this project? Or should I just wait? Hopefully you've enjoyed session number 11 of Introduction to Finance.